This is exactly where I died on my furthest attempt so far. I will get ready to edit that how far it command. <sighs> Let's just do it. Let's just go in. The UU lock. Yeah, exactly. Maybe I should have called it that. PU and U lock. Probably closer to that. Alright, start right off with the stockpile. This thing can't do anything. I guess if Poison Jab poisons me, that's pretty awkward. Yep, Keen Eye. It's not gonna work on me, dude. Stockpile number two. And why not stockpile number three? Do I roost here? Not yet. Um, actually, if I roost, I probably kill with this next surf, guaranteed because of Rocky Helmet. There's actually no reason not to roost here. Alright. Surf should probably kill from this range, I feel like. Scrafty's not the best in special defense, I believe, if I remember correctly. Wow, okay, I was expecting that to deal more. Um, wow, okay, that's definitely going to trigger a full restore. I kind of have to push Surf damage here, um, so that he doesn't get the defense drop on Crunch. Like a three at KO. I gotta make. Actually, I can use this to my advantage. I can probably push enough damage here for him to trigger the second full restore and not have any left for his other Pokemon. That should get him to like a little bit below what he needs. There's the defense drop that I was dreading. Ah, uh, this. So if I roost here, he takes more damage. He can use his other full restore, and that's probably gonna be the best value I'm gonna get out of that. I think he'd ra I'd rather him use his full restore on this than on any other of his Pokemon. So I'm gonna go for the roost here. Wow, he already full restores from that range. I didn't need to roost at all. Alright, yeah, I definitely want a Toxic. Um, now that he used the full restore for sure. Shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, Alright, from this range, Toxic's probably no longer worth it. Looks like two Surfs will kill with the Rocky Helmet damage attached. I can go Surf. I can't go Surf Roost. God damn it. I'm only plus one defense now. Um, I have to go Surf. I have to go Roost here. Should be okay though. Alright, I'm neutral defense now. Alright, definitely surf. I can't stockpile any further, unfortunately. Whew. I might have to switch here. Crocodile. Why would he bring that out? He does hit with crunch pretty hard, but not hard enough. I guess what I could do... Um, the thing is, if I reset my defenses here, the only th way it matters is that I can actually use, um, stockpiles again. He's probably gonna go for the crunch here. I could go into, um, a skun tank, trigger him to use earthquake, go back into a pelipper. That seems like the play. This seems like a really easy opportunity. That's fine, too. To, um... Reset my stockpiles here. 
Take a little bit of damage on Skuntank in exchange. I get to stockpile up again, and now we can still surf or whatever. To a KO from surf is very likely. Crocodile is pretty fragile. I will take a foul play if I do, but um, setting up stockpiles is probably not worth it here. Especially, eh. Bisharp is probably going to deal more damage. Whatever. Wow, okay. That just kills. Definitely a good play then. Bisharp is fairly slow, I believe. Should be able to outroost him. Lipard coming out first. That's actually fantastic. Attract won't even work here. This is the perfect Pelipper for this fight. Female to dodge the attract, Keen Eye to dodge the sand attack. It's beautiful. He's gonna uh, fake out here. So, I'm just gonna skip a turn. Oh, do I die to Night Slash actually? Fake out is 40 damage, right? So, Night Slash is uh, 105. Look like 20. I should be okay here. I'm dead to Night Slash crit, which does have higher crit chance. I probably should have switched last turn. Um, that kind of sucks. This thing doesn't really have shit on Skuntank. I'm definitely dead to Night Slash crit. There's no way I'm not. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to Skuntank here. Okay, I just poison jab for the two at KO, I guess. Should be able to outdamage him. 111 to 77. That's what, 34 damage? Ooh, nice, that is sick. All right, that's pretty lucky. Definitely not running Memento here. I think we got this. I don't want to call it prematurely, but I think we got this. X Scissor or Aerial Ace coming out. Both of which are resisted by nobody. Um. Alright, alright, alright. I could sack, but my cuck bucks. Hmm. Night Slash definitely kills Bennett, so... Hold on. I'm gonna slower than Bisharb. Is there a way where I win this without losing a Pokemon? I guess this doesn't do a lot to Cabotops. I should taught him to dig for this fight, I guess. Waterfall is just fine, though. I like this matchup a lot. Forty-four damage. Night slash. Gonna be like sixty-six. Waterfall plus Aqua Jet probably not going to kill, but get a lot of good damage in here without him having full restores. Wow, holy shit, that's a really good flinch. Jesus Christ. Alright, just no Night Slash crit here for my boy Kabutops. Nice! Holy shit, the luck! Getting back Grimsley with the RNG. That's what I call fucking revenge, bro. Woo! Oh my god, okay, okay, okay.